Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial with Chase Dia. I'm going to make this one quick and dirty. Quick and dirty, straight to the point. Because I know a whole lot of people on the internet want to know how to make CDs and stuff. So, here we go. So, some things you'll need is a CD uh, drive for your computer. So, some laptops and all those, you know, they come with CD drives. But if it doesn't, you can easily buy one for like 20 bucks online and it just plugs in with the USB and you could throw a, a CD in there and you should be good. You need CDs, blank CDs. CDs, uh, the cost depends. I don't really know, but I like the verbatim ones. Um, just clear, the, don't really matter. As long as it's CDR. Or CDRW you can also use, but CDR is the best. The RW just means rewritable, but I've never uh, used one of those before, so I don't know. CDR works for me. And then you'll need, of course, this program called A Shampoo Burning Studio. To get that, just look it up online. There we go, A Shampoo. Uh, you could try Burning Studio to be more specific. It's free. And, yeah, there we go. A Shampoo Burning Studio free. 100% free to you. And it's fully functional if you want to just burn audio CDs. So it's perfect. I love free programs. Anyway, so I I made this this tutorial about two years ago. But it got removed with a community guidelines strike because I guess I was showing how to commit cyber crimes because I showed a way to download music online for free so this time I'm not gonna show a way to download music online for free and if you wanna figure out how to do that look it up I'm not even gonna say you just gotta look it up or you could just have your own music or just whatever you got on your computer which I do so uh in order to stay away from copyright crimes and stuff, I'm going to be using my friend's music, J Mac. Shout out to J Mac. And Scumbag, his little band. Scumbag. Uh, Scumbag actually just released a single yesterday called Dollar 45. And you know what? I'm putting that in my CD today, along with his hit album, Macedonia. And another single called Blast Processing. And then another single from Scumbag called uh, Paper Cuts. So, and that all fits on a CD. Things to note. You can't go over 700 megabytes with your music on your CD. And you can't go over 80 minutes. But usually that's not a problem. Unless the audio file that you're putting in is like super large. And like super processed. Which it could be a really large file. Or just a super long song could be a, a detriment but if you have regular length songs regular processing all that stuff 80 minutes should work perfectly and i have less than 80 minutes in this instance so first what you'll need to do download that a shampoo burning studio it'll pop up it'll be right there just wait a minute for it to pop up here we go so you could go on to the side here to audio plus music and then create audio CD. And then this opens up this module here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my playlist where I have all the songs. Just go ahead and drag them in. And then within here, you can, of course, uh, reorganize them as you please. I will definitely need to, so I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna. I need to organize the album Macedonio in order, and then, yeah. All right, I have organized them. It goes Macedonio, Scream River, Cold Night, Keys to Her, Padlocks, Sangre on Me, 2003, West Coast Amorpho, When the Sky Falls, Oscuridad, Stay the Night, Something Raw, Fleetwood Mac, Demarco, Run Out of Time, Take My Time. Blast processing, paper cuts, and dollar forty-five. Perfect. We got it all lined up and stream dollar forty-five right now. It's playing right now.
Motherfuckers make a change overnight. I feel my earth shake. What's his left? What's his right? I couldn't even believe that shit has got his tight. Let it speak. <laughs> all right perfect epic okay so we got all those lined up now it goes up to like 50 minutes 57 minutes it looks like around there nah about 54 about 54 minutes on this side normalization and pauses uh you can make it so there's no pauses between the tracks which i like to do for albums because uh sometimes specifically with this album the songs kind of meld into the next one and with no pauses that is it's not it's still not completely seamless but it is less it is more seamless than if you were to have two second pauses between the tracks so i do no pauses usually for cds with random songs i do the pauses to kind of separate them out and to make it a little longer and then normalization i like to uh I'm going to make it a little louder, but I'm going to keep it normalized because normalization basically it, uh, it makes it so all the tracks are basically the same volume because you don't want like, like specifically with different CDs that have many different songs from different like, uh, paths some songs are really loud some are really quiet with normalization it'll make it so it's comfortable to listen to and it kind of you know it's all the same volume these i don't really have to worry about except with dollar 45 paper cuts and blast processing because i don't know what kind of decibels those are but the album i'm putting on there it's all the same it's pretty good but i'm going to keep it at 90 decibels normalization with no pauses gonna hit next okay i'm gonna switch I'm gonna switch to my phone real quick. So got my phone, I got my CDs here. And this is my audio CD tool. Just kind of open that up. And it is plugged into my USB. I could just take one of these verbatim CDs out, throw her in. Be gentle. Sometimes it can fuck up. Put her in, perfect. And this might fail the first time, but just try again if it doesn't. It's going to make a little noise in there. <laughs> Say, please wait. Perfect. The inserted CDR is okay. And you just go ahead and write CD. And it varies how long this will take. It's a shorter CD, so it might not take that long. It's just going to do its thing. If it fails, just try again with a different CD. Sometimes, a disclaimer, sometimes the CDs will mess up. I'm back here. Sometimes the CDs will mess up and you'll just get a bad s CD, but just keep it clean. Like, you know, all the CD care stuff. Keep it clean. I have CDs that I burned in 2022 that still work perfectly in my car today that I listen to all the time. And those are just good s c CDs. Some CDs I burned this year or, or last year and they already skip like every song so it, it really varies but so as you can see my cd is 473 megabytes definitely is underneath the 700 megabyte maximum but yeah we just kind of wait for that Yeah, something funny about that last uh, tutorial I made. Well, so like you can go back and see the DVD making tutorial I made in 2023. That has so many views. It exceeds like any other video I have on my channel. It has so many views and it got me so many subscribers. And the CD making tutorial got like five times as many views. It got like 50,000 views. And... uh. To this day, there's still pe people commenting on my DVD tutorial, and I got so peeved when they deleted my CD one because that was such a good video. 
So yeah, I just had to make, I had to make this one. I just had to make it Be because I needed to make a new CD and I'm like, damn, I might as well make a video about it. So I hope you guys, hope it helps you guys out. I feel like this one's a lot more fleshed out than my other one. But yeah, about two minutes left. Let's wait. So it's just finishing right now. You can hear it stop. It's gonna eject. It's gonna eject it. Perfect. Now, this is our burned CD. I still don't even know how this technology works. It's pretty old, but I don't know how the technology works, but we are gonna go outside. Okay, it's slightly raining out, so I gotta put this in my pocket a little bit. But yes, we're gonna go out here. I'm gonna just go to my passenger side so I don't have to go on the street. Passenger side. Oh. And I gotta turn my battery on. Eject the CD that's already in there. This is one Coulter Wall CD in 2022. I have so many CDs I burned. Almost all my CDs I've ever I ever made or ever had. Or burned by me. Just stick that one in. Let's listen. See if it works. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the new song. I'm on the toilet now, but hey, uh, there you have it. Burn CD sounds great in the car. It sounds great in your car. I already know it. Uh, hey, go ahead and like and subscribe. Comment if you have any questions. I can answer pretty much every question with the CDs. Uh, uh, also, I don't even know. Hey, have a good night.